Okay, so uh, questions 88 to, oops, sorry, 85 to 88. So uh, talking about platelets, blood clotting, wound healing. And uh, okay, so when they circulate for 10 days, this is the information provided. It is observed that protein BCL-X, so BCL-X, um, found in platelet, enhances platelet survival. So I'm going to symbolize that this way, that it enhances platelet survival. Uh, protein's effect is countered by drug ABT737. <laughs> so, uh, so here's ABT737. Sounds like an airline I took to get to Perth. And uh, this is having a negative effect um, on, on that. So um, just going to sort of write things out and go along to keep things clear. So, and that's a drug, okay, that's a drug. Then another um, platelet-related substance back induces platelet death, apoptosis. In fact, apoptosis is really defined as uh, programmed cell death. So anyway, nonetheless, it, it is inducing, uh, back is inducing uh, cell death. So I'm going to write uh, back over here and um, uh, that this is going to, uh, if, if I could draw a skull and bones, I would, <laughs> but uh, I, I can't, so I'll just have to write death. So it will cause death of the platelets, and, and I'll try to, you know, keep that in mind. Um, induces cell death by affecting the apoptosis stimulator substance caspase 3. So caspase 3 sounds like A's, so it sounds like some kind of enzyme, but anyway, I'm going to... Uh, write it here caspase 3 is associated with this cell death and for this event to occur and then uh, back induces oh no wrong uh, line okay bclx is known to bind back okay so bclx can bind back um inhibiting its apoptotic function so bclx inhibits uh, Bach's apoptotic function. So I'm going to put BCLX is going to have a neck. I wish they just drew this out in the first place, and sometimes they do, you know it. So anyway, so BCLX has a negative impact, inhibits this, and binds, BCLX binds to Bach uh, to create that uh, inhibition. Okay. Um, Inhibiting and in vivo, which means in life, in real life, in, in the organism, the BCLX level in a platelet initially in excess of the back level declines more rapidly. Okay, so that's how it's regulated. BCLX goes down, and then this goes crazy, and then the thing dies, and then BCLX is high, and platelets survive, and back and forth. Okay, so administration of ABT 737 in the presence of back. In the presence of back, okay, leads to increased activation of caspase, and so um, uh, that it's therefore cell death. So the administration of this uh, in the absence of back does not do it. So that means ABT seven three seven is having an effect on back, and that effect that ABT seven three is a positive effect, and it has this effect on back, not directly on caspase 3. If it was directly on caspase 3, then with or without back wouldn't matter. But back is important in order for this to occur. So here are the relationships that we have so far. Uh, is there more? Of course, there's more. Um, the drug QVD inhibits caspase 3. So now we can add one more thing uh, up here, I guess, uh, is that uh, QVD uh, has a negative in influence on this process. So because it negative influence, it prevents death, and that means it will make this live longer. Okay, so now we have figure 1A and figure 1B, and I just sort of glance at them uh, to see if there's anything important for me to retain. Then I'll let the questions guide me as to what I have to deal with. 
So the first question is to pro prolong platelet lifespan and blood banks. Which of the following is most readily achievable and useful? <laughs> that's, a, that's a question and a half. So most readily achievable and useful seems to be the, the, you know, the operative words here. So uh, question A, I mean answer A, uh, decrease the rate of transcription of back. So if you decrease the rate of transcription of back, you'd get less back and less death, so the platelets would live longer, that's good. Increase the rate of transcription of BCLX. If you increase BCLX, you get longer lifespan. You also get inhibition of back, less death, so that's good too. There's, there's just one problem. Um, does anybody have a drug that can do this already? <laughs> because if you had the drug that could do that already, that would be readily achievable and useful. But if you don't, to do the research, to find a drug that's going to cross the plasma membrane, go into the nucleus, affect the DNA, because it has to affect the transcription of uh, messenger RNA and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, uh, that's a nice summer research project or, or project for the rest of your life. Um, so yeah, that's not happening during the GAMSAT. So more logical things uh, in terms of readily achievable and usable would be some drug that exists. And they gave us information about two drugs. One drug is uh, ABT737. So here's ABT737. But ABT737 inhibits this so it's going to reduce the lifespan and it also increases this which increases increases apoptosis or cell death so abt 737 no 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 but qvd which has an inhib inhibitory effect on this cell death apoptosis would mean that these platelets could survive longer so um, qvd would be um, both first of all it's a drug that exists already so it's readily achievable and useful. So 85, the answer is D. Now for 86, in general percentage of platelets reduced to just 5% by the 10th day. So we have 10 days in which this is occurring and it goes down to 5%. Uh, so 5%, well actually they said less than, just less than 5%, so we'll try to keep that in mind in the end. But 5%, uh, that uh, fraction is uh, 1 over 20. Um, and so for half-life, we know that the, uh, the sorry, the, um, the equation for half-life is uh, 1 half uh, to the power of n, where n is equal to the number of half-lives. So if... Uh, just looking at trying to get get it to equal 1 uh, over 20. If it was 4, uh, 1 half to the power of 4, so that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So we get um, 1 half to the power of 4. If n is equal to 4, we get uh, 1 over 16. And if we try n is equal to 5, we just have 16 times 2, which is uh, 1 over 32. So it's somewhere between... 4 and 5, which would be the number of half-lives. If it was 4 half-lives, then we would have 10 um, divided by 4, and that would give us 2.5 days, which would be um, the length of one half-life if it, n was equal to 4. If n is equal to 5, then we have 10 divided by 5 is 2 days. And we were told that it's less than um, 1 over 20, which means that it's a number between these two numbers, probably closer to 4, but at least it's between these two numbers. Um, actually, yeah, right. So it, it is going to be between these two numbers, not necessarily closer to 4. And therefore, it is going to be between 2 and 2.5 days, but probably a little closer to 2 days. But the point is, is that it's between uh, these two uh, numbers. So. Um, 86, the answer would be B. And um, 87, which of the following is most strongly suggested by 1B? So, most strongly suggested by 1B. Okay, so, <clears throat> so looking at 1B, we see that uh, if you look at the first three trials for 1B, you can see that uh, B... Uh, CL, uh, BCLX is constant, 
And uh, if uh, BCLX is uh, constant, it, um, during that trial, you can see that the back is going down. Do you notice how back is going down for the second and third? That's the negative signs. The double negatives means that uh, it's going down. It's being changed in a downward trend. And, and we're not surprised to see that as back goes down, we have an increase in the platelets. So um, we're not surprised uh, uh, to look at that. Okay. The other thing we notice is that um, um, when uh, BCLX uh, goes down in the fourth trial, you notice that? The fourth trial, we see BCLX go down and the histogram goes down um, significantly and, uh, and the, while back and backs are at the same concentration. We also notice that in the third trial, um, as the lifespan goes up, it goes up because of uh, back being having some negatives, which means back is being downregulated. But it also is going because of backs, and backs also does the same kind of thing that back does according to the passage. So all these things we get from the passage. So when looking at the answer choices, uh, answer choice A, for example, we see that backs has more effect on platelet half-life than uh, BCLX. But we don't see that BAX has more effect than BCLX. We do see that BAX has an effect because when you look at second trial and third trial, you see the histogram goes up a little bit as a result of negative BAX, sort of down-regulating BAX. So it does have a little effect there going from the second trial to the third trial. But we do see a significant effect also with BCLX because we're comparing the very first trial to the fourth trial where only BCLX is changing. And when only BCLX changes, we see that uh, we get down, um, regulate the half-life goes down uh, significantly. So uh, we do get to see that. So I, we can't say, therefore, that BAX has more an effect than BCLX. Um, we don't have that information, at least. And then uh, for B, BACS has more effect on platelet half-life than BAC. So does BACS have more effect? Well, we do see that BACS has an effect going from second trial to third trial, but we also see that BAC has an effect going from first trial to second trial, and that as soon as we uh, down-regulate BAC, suddenly we have a higher half-life for the uh, platelets. And that difference between trial one and trial two is greater than the difference from trial two and trial three. It really still is not perfectly clear because we didn't get a trial just with backs being downregulated, um, which would have been interesting to compare. So at least we cannot say that B is the case. Then we look at C. Bax has no observable effect on platelet life. Yes, it did. We just proved that it did. And then Bax has an observable effect on platelet half life. Well, duh. here's another situation where when you're doing the multiple choice questions, obviously you're not going to be explaining it to other people. So you're going to be moving at a faster pace. And um, here is a situation again where you see and D are exact opposites of each other. And that means there's an increased chance that the right answer is among them. And indeed the right answer is D as we have shown uh, by looking at trials uh, two and three that Bax has an observable effect on the half-life of platelets. And uh, the effect is, is that when you block backs, the half-life of platelets increases. So that's 87. 88, um, in explaining the lifespan of a platelet, uh, which of the following most consistent? Okay, so the number of back molecules in a platelet increases over time. The number of back increases over time. That's not what we were told. What we were told in the passage is that over time, the number of BCLX uh, molecules starts to go down. That's uh, the only clear line that we were told uh, that we discussed uh, previously. So we know BCLX goes down over time. We, we have not been given information about back's concentration. Two, the effect of back on caspase, three, decreases over time. No, we have no information about that at all. In fact, we know that BAC stimulates caspase 3, and uh, we expect that um, BAC's activity 
with caspase 3 will increase over time and result in the death of these platelets. And then three, uh, C, levels of unbound back increase over time. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Probably the concentration of back is quite constant, but sometimes it's bound, sometimes it's not. And we already said uh, when we reviewed the passage that BCLX binds to back, and it's because of that binding that you have that negative influence holds back down, so to speak, so that the platelet doesn't die as soon as it's born. But then as BCLX starts going away, its concentration starts going down over time, then, then back is going to be um, uh, released and freed. And so unbound, causing death, stimulating caspase, and therefore uh, the, the death in the platelets, which they said happens around 10 days. So that uh, answer choice C uh, makes perfect sense. And then D says caspase 3 activity decreases over time, but we know that over time the platelet will start to die. And that means um, the activity of back and caspase, uh, once back is unbound and free to do what it does best, which is kill platelets, um, that it would uh, increase um, over over the, the lifespan of the um, of the platelets in general. <clears throat> so um, if you uh, want to review uh, some information about blood composition, including platelets, uh, you can do that here. And uh, it is helpful to review Half-Life, uh, which is really covered in physics 12.4, uh, but it does come up uh, um, often uh, uh, for the exam in any of the science subjects. And um, it's also nice to review uh, prokaryotes and doubling time because uh, we also see that uh, uh, coming up uh, with a similar equation. <laughs>